uh, Richard Kuchin. I was at Telemann first class when I was discharged. I came back and I, uh, I went to college first. I, I went to a junior college for a year. I should have stayed with it, but uh, when I came out of the service, I went back home, which was a mistake. I was still immature to a point where I had never lived on my own, and yet I was 22 years old. But the Navy took care of you like you were, you know, they really took care of you. You, you, were, you were a part of their family, so to speak. And uh, they guided you through everything as far as how to get here, how to get there, how to the transportation. All the tickets were bought and given to you. You didn't have to do much for yourself. And uh, I wound up working at a bank for a while. I met my wife there. And uh, then I was across the street from a post office and I applied. And I got married and I got the job in the post office. I, I wound up as assistant postmaster. I, had, I put 30 some years there. And they added on my four years of Navy. So I wound up with 35 years service in uh, 1992, believe it or not. And they came out with a, uh, with a bonus, if you left, of six months pay. Uh, and uh, you, you didn't even have to be eligible at the time. I think you could there was a, a little leeway as to how many years. I was fully eligible to go anyway. And uh, I didn't know about it, to tell you the truth. Nobody did. I had put in my papers six months before that. And I'm um, at my duty station there in Deal. And the postmaster's, she was a woman, my husband come in. He was in a service. He was in a, a, a post office, too. And he came over to me and he says, Rich, he says, I see you put in your papers. I says, yeah. I said, you know, this was before I knew about the, uh, the six months bonus. He said, you know, there's a bonus coming up. I says, there is? He says, yeah. He said, probably in about six months. He says, it's going to be an early out. He says, if I was you, I'd pull those papers out and wait. And I did. And I'm damn glad I did because I got $25,000 when I walked off. And I went in there and I gave him $150 when, when I went. I was probably the only guy to retire from the post office and, and, and give them a gift. Everybody. I gave the postmaster $150 to go have dinner because he was so, he had put me onto that, which he didn't have to. And, uh, I went around and gave all the help $25 check and said, here, go out and have yourself a dinner on me. So I'm probably the only guy in the world that ever retired and gave gifts and never got one. But I was so damn happy to get that extra $25. i will tell you why I was happy. In 1990, two years before I retired, my first daughter got married. So I had three beautiful daughters. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, they're 31 years older now, or 30, 30 or 31 years, 31, I guess, now, you yeah. know. And uh, that was a beautiful wedding, a great wedding. And uh, I married them all. So they, she, I went to the first wedding in 90. I was still in the post office. I retire in 92, and my youngest daughter gets married two years later. A year later, my oldest daughter got married. So in three years, or basically three and a half years, I married three daughters off. So I went to my wife and I said, you know, we, we, we were of, you know, small means, you know, you could see they were all born here. I raised them all in this house right here. I've been here 57 years in October. I never left it. Uh, everybody else did, but I didn't. Everybody else had a whole block left except me.